Morning, May 28. Whom he justified, them he also glorified. Romans 8.30 Here is a precious truth for thee, believer. Thou mayest be poor, or in suffering, or unknown, but for thine encouragement take a review of thy calling and of the consequences that flow from it, and especially that blessed result here spoken of. As surely as thou art God's child today, so surely shall all thy trials soon be at an end, and thou shalt be rich to all the intents of bliss. Wait a while, and that weary head shall wear the crown of glory, and that hand of labor shall grasp the palm branch of victory. Lament not thy troubles, but rather rejoice that ere long thou wilt be where there shall be neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. The chariots of fire are at thy door, and a moment will suffice to bear thee to the glorified. The everlasting song is almost on thy lip. The portals of heaven stand open for thee. Think not that thou canst fail of entering into rest. If he hath called thee, nothing can divide thee from his love. Distress cannot sever the bond. The fire of persecution cannot burn the link. The hammer of hell cannot break the chain. Thou art secure. That voice which called thee at first shall call thee yet again from earth to heaven, from death's dark gloom to immortality's unuttered splendors. Rest assured, the heart of him who has justified thee beats with infinite love towards thee. Thou shalt soon be with the glorified where thy portion is. Thou art only waiting here to be made meet for the inheritance, and that done, the wings of angels shall waft thee far away to the mount of peace and joy and blessedness, where far from a world of grief and sin, with God eternally shut in, thou shalt rest for ever and ever.